Hey, Chef Billy Parisi here from Heinen's Grocery Source. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I've got a very important lesson for you, and that's how to cut those hard fall and winter squashes. I'm gonna show you how to do it in the easiest way possible. Cutting these can be really difficult and somewhat scary, so I'm here to try to alleviate some of those nerves and show you really the simplest, most classic techniques when it comes to cutting these squashes. Here we go. We have three different squashes, spaghetti squash, acorn squash, and butternut squash. While all are available all year long, they are in peak season in those fall and winter months and all have varying degrees of difficulty when it comes to slicing and cutting them. The first most important thing though is to have a very sharp chef knife or a longer thick utility knife. We're going to start off with the easiest first and that's with the spaghetti squash. What you do is come up about three to four inches and give it a little chop just to get into it. And then using your other hand, press down on the top of the blade and slice all the way through. Very, very easy. Now to prepare it, you want to remove the seeds completely using a large spoon. And then once they are completely scraped out, the best way I know how to cook it is put it down and then add some water to a pan or a sheet tray and then bake it in the oven. Now for the next one, I have some acorn squash. You actually cut it very similar to the spaghetti squash. First, remove that stem on top and then the exact same way. Maybe take your hand away for this one and give it a slice. Push down on top of the knife using your other hand. It will slice through with ease. And again, very similar to the spaghetti squash. Go ahead and grab a large spoon and scoop out all of the seeds that are in the center. The few ways to cut it from here is you can roast it as is, as a little cup. You can cut it in half and roast it like this. Or the other option you can do is simply take slices and you know when cutting, tuck your other fingertips in to be sure to keep them safe. These nice little wedges are easy and perfect for roasting in the oven or again, you can use the other part. Now the last one, butternut squash. This is a little bit different. You can peel these and these slice a little bit easier, but before you need to cut it, and what I like to do is sort of remove the bottom part from the top part. The top part has no seeds in it and the bottom does. This is a little bit softer, so in the same way, just push through and use your other hand to guide the knife and slice down in. We are gonna grab that top part and simply peel it using a peeler, then cut off the top stem part and then slice away half inch, fit one, half inch to one inch thick slices all the way down. And then once they are completely sliced here, all you wanna do is large dice it. This is just an easy way to eat it, to roast it. If you've ever had it in soups, this is pretty much how they would cut it there. If you don't want to slice it like this, you can just take thick slices and leave them in those rings. For the bottom part, you can carve out the inside seeds and roast it like an acorn squash or peel it and large dice it. And that is the easiest way to slice and peel all of these. They are wonderful, roasted up and served right next to the main course. As you can see, way easier than you may have thought. And I promise you, you'll be safe using these techniques. Be sure to check out Heinens.com, see all of our great techniques and recipes, and we'll see you soon.